Hi everybody and welcome back. Today we're looking at binomial expansion. Binomial expansion is a way of simplifying expanding brackets. So I've just shown you the first three powers of a plus b on the screen. a plus b to the power 1 is a plus b. a plus b to the power 2, you just expand the brackets using the Crabs claw method, which becomes a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then to expand a plus b to the power 3, well, we expand the first two brackets first using the Crabs claw, and then we expand it again using more claws like that. And you will get this here a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And we can do this for all the powers of a, b as well. Remember, anything to the power 0 is 1. You will need to remember that today. Now, this can take a lot of time if you do it, uh, expand the brackets one by one, but using binomial expansion, we can simplify things, and it is quicker to use binomial expansion. So, before we continue, we need to know our binomial coefficients. And to get this on the calculator, we press Shift first, and then NCR, or the Divide button. So shift and then the divide button will get the binomial coefficients. So, uh, for example, 8 choose 3 will be uh, done in your calculator as 8C3, which will get you 56. 10 choose 9 will be 10. 5 choose 0 will be 1. And 6 choose 2 will be 15. Uh, just see if you can get that on your calculator before I continue, so you definitely know how to find these on your calculator. I'll just show you some patterns as we uh, before we begin. Anything choose 0 will always be 1. Okay. And then 10 choose 9 it is 10 itself. And so any number choose a number below it will be the same number. For example, 5 choose 4 will be 5 as well. So there's some nice patterns here. Now, the binomial expansion uses these and it uses this formula here. So a plus b to the power n uh, becomes this expansion here. And this may look a little bit scary, it may look a bit complicated, but it does follow some really simple patterns that we're going to see uh, today. In general, uh, each uh, term of the sequence is n, choose r, a to the power r, b to the power n minus r. Okay, and that general uh, term is the formula we're going to use very often. So we're going to see this as an example. x plus 1 to the power 6. And we're going to use this formula, n choose r, a to the power r, b to the power n minus r, where n is the power, and that's 6. a is the first, term, the first part of the bracket, which is x. b is the second part of the bracket, which is 1. And now we can start uh, going through the R's. We always start with R is 0, like this. So the first term is 6 choose 0, x to the power 0, 1 to the power 6. Next, we just move the R up, like this, like this. And we continue going up in R's. Up until we get to N. So when we get... Uh, n choose n, we can stop there. You should see a pattern here. So the uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is just counting up. The powers of x are going up in 1s, again counting up. And the powers of 1, the powers of b, are just counting down 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So you should always get some really nice clear patterns when you're doing this. Now we're going to simplify this. We're going to start with 6 choose 0, which is just 1. Again, you're doing this on your calculator. x to the power 0 is 1. And then 1 to the power 6 is 1. So the first term is 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1. Now we're going to do 6 choose 1, which is 6. x to the power 1 is just x. And then 1 to the power 5 is just 1. So it's 6 times x times 1 which is 6x. 
Next term is 6 choose 2 times x squared times 1 to the power 4. Again, 1 to the power 4 is just 1. So it's 6 choose 2 times x squared, which is 15x squared. Remember, when you do 6 choose 2, just use your calculator as we did before. Now 6 choose 3, we're doing our calculator times x cubed times 1 to the power 3. 1 to the power 3 is 1. So 6 choose 3 x cubed is 20 x cubed. And if you continued, you would get 15 x to the power 4, 6 x to the power 5, and x to the power 6. If you wanted to in your time, you could just check that you get the exact same numbers that I have on screen. That would be good practice for you for this topic. Now we're going to do the first four terms in ascending powers of x in the expansion of 2x minus 3 to the power 7. And we replace the a with 2x, the b with minus 3, and the n with 7 in our formula. So just as before. And it does say the first four terms. So we're just going to do the first four. Uh, r is 0, r is 1, r is 2, and r is 3. Uh, that's a really common exam question, just save time. Uh, they just give you the first four terms. Ascending powers of x means uh, powers of x going up. So x to the power 0, x to the power 1, x to the power 2, x to the power 3. Ascending means going up. So we start with 0, 7 to 0, 2x to the power 0, minus 3 to the power 7. Next one, r is 1. R is 2, R is 3, like that, okay? And we're going to simplify, so start with 7 choose 0, 7 choose 0 is just 1, 2x to the power 0, that's something to the power 0, that's always just 1, and then minus 3 to the power 7, well we do that on the calculator, so 1 times 1 times minus 3 to the power 7 on the calculator. When you're doing this, remember to put minus 3 in brackets because it's a minus 3 to a power and it just helps your calculator understand what you mean. And you should get minus 2,817. Again, 7 choose 1 is just 7. 2x to the power 1 is 2x. Minus 3 to the power 6, you're doing the calculator. 7 times 2 times minus 3 to the power 6 is 10,206. And then we have an x on the end because it's x to the power 1. 7 choose 2 is 21, 2x to the power 2 is 4x squared. Remember it's 2x in brackets squared, so 2x times 2x is 4x squared, so don't uh, lose marks there. Minus 3 to the power 5, you're doing your calculator, so 21 times 4 times minus 3 to the power 5 is minus 20,412. It's completely normal to get really big numbers here. Uh, you will naturally get quite big numbers uh, for some of these questions. 7 choose 3 is 35. 2x to the power 3 is 8x cubed. Minus 3 to the power 4 is 81. Multiply all these together. 35 times 8 times 81 is 22,680x cubed. Now, Let's just do that last one really slowly so you're absolutely sure what's going on. 7 choose 3, we're doing a calculator, that's 35. 2x cubed is 2x times 2x times 2x, which is 8x cubed. Minus 3 to the power 4 is 243. We just multiply the numbers together, 35 times 8 times 243 is uh, 22,680. And then we have an x cubed on the end. And that's the final answer. Again, try to do this yourself, following the steps, and just make sure you can use your calculator correctly. An interesting pattern is that when you have a minus, so you have a positive and a negative in the bracket, you will have alternating minus, positive, minus, positive, and that pattern will continue. The next one will be a negative, then it'll be a positive after that. So that's a good way to just check you are doing the right thing, just seeing the alternating pattern. Okay. I hope that made sense to you guys. Now, please feel free to watch the video once more and try the, try the examples in the video yourselves. 
If you do those correctly, you can also try these questions on screen. I'm going to expand 3a minus 5 to the power 4. And I also want you to do uh, 2x plus 1 to the power 8. And I only want you to find the first four terms in ascending powers of x for those two. And for the second one. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to pause the video now and see if you can get the right answers to these. And I'm going to reveal the full answer in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. And there, that is the final answer. Okay. So thank you for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. I hope you enjoyed today and I hope you learnt everything you need to know about binomial expansion. This will take practice, so make sure you uh, try to practice questions. Please like and subscribe for future videos uh, so you don't miss any more videos that will help with your exams. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.